the angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she, she conceived by the Holy Ghost. And Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of God. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the Vipati se fili spiritu santi amen. In tuoi volatari dei e in tempi di difficoltà di Ubuntu tu mai om. Io vi dame dei servizi con gas mende gente non santa mi nomine nel nome del loro sorlo amen. Qui è tuo stai us voti cui tu mai corre le felicis quali felicis in cielo dove felici mendi cus. E mi deluge un tuo libertato un tuo mips e mi deluge un tuo luce e un tuo monte un santo un tuo luce da venato la tua. E in tuoi volatari dei e in tempi di difficoltà di Ubuntu tu mai om. Cove te uti vincita la deus deus menus coi tristi sani ma mai corre tu tuo gas mende. Spera in Deo, cuore, ma tocco di te i bolini, salutare vultus me e Deus meus. Gloria, Patria, e Figlio, e Spirito, e Santo, stico del latte in principio e nunca e sempre, ed in secula seculorum. Amen. In tuoi volontari dei, ed in cui li ti fica di un tutto meo. Auditor nostro, in nome di Domini, in cui fece il cielo e terra. Confiti, o Deo, mi Via di Maria, San Vigine, Via di Tanto e Tangelo, Via di Santa Fizia, Santi di Posti, Spetto e Paolo, Via di Guarda, Via di Ami, Ombio, Santi, Fulvio, Sfartes, Qui ho dato in ogni scogitazione, ma è molto opere, ma è o culpa, ma è o culpa, ma è o massimo culpa. E ne ho prego, ma è alta, ma è un semplice, ma è un biato, ma è un cangelo, ma è alto di un battista, un santo sposo, un spetto e polo, ma è alto di un marriam di anni, ma è un santo sposo a te, ora le come è donno del nostro. E se io tutti i miei tutti i miei spiriti, tutti i miei spiritati, tutti i miei spiriti, 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 Beate Maria Sempre Vigini, Beate Michele di Arcangelo, Beate Ioani Battista, Santi Sposti di Spettri e Paolo, Omnibus Santi e Sentini in Pate, qui è il Cavo in Minis, Cogitazione, Verbo e Popole. Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo maxima culpa. E io prego Beata Maria Sempre Vigini, Beate Michele di Arcangelo, Beate Ioani Battista, Santos Apostolo Spettio in Paolo, Onne Santos et Tei Pate, Ora al Nome, Ad Dominum del Nostro. Miseriato Vesci, mi potendo Steus, e tu mi sfruttati, Svei, e Svei, e tu te cose dita, me che renam. Amen. E l'urgenza, ma istruzione, ma permissione, ben torno, sono in te, mi vado, non mi sono di potenza, e misericos Dominus. Amen. Verso con verso, sve fefita, bisnas, e terzo, e tanto, e te, ostendi, non mi sfruttati, e misericordia, e tua. Et salutare tuum tempotis, Domine et salve l'azione mea, et clamum mea sarte venia, et Domino suo viscum, et il Spirito tuo, orde vi. Salve, sacre padre, in ex vapo e per regum, qui c'è la terra che per regi in secola seculorum, e lutare con me, prego, un po' l'antico ego, opera me a regi. Gloria, Padre, Figlio e Spirito e Santo, si vede anche il principio e nunca e sempre, e ti insegui la seculorum. Amen. Salve, Santa Padre, in Zinix, a tua tua regum, che c'è un tarranco e regi, ti insegui la seculorum. Chi di Eleison, chi di Eleison, chi di Eleison, Christa Eleison, Christa Eleison, Christa Eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Dag in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus bonae voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, gloria vita amus te. 
Gracias is in the Ezekiel, 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 
یوسی از هاتم جنویت یپان یا مکرات از ایروس این ترانس میگراتسیانی بابیلونیس ای پوست ترانس میگراتسیانی بابیلونیس که کارنی از جنویت سلاتیل سلاتیل هاتم جنویت زرو بابو زرو جنویت آبیون آبیون هاتم جنویت الیاکی مالیاکی هاتم جنویت آزور آزور هاتم جنویت سادوک سادوگ هاتم جنویت آکی ماکی هاتم جنویت الیود الیود هاتم جنویت الیازا الیازا هاتم جنویت ماکان ماکان هاتم جنویت یاکوم یاکوب هاتم جنویت یوسف ویرم ماریه de qui natus est Iesus, qui vocatur Christus. Laus, Tiri Christi. On this Saturday, in the octave of the conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the lesson is taken from the book of Proverbs. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways, before he made anything from the beginning. I was set up from eternity, and of old, before the earth was made. The depths were not as yet, and I was already conceived. Neither had the fountains of water as yet sprung out. The mountains with their huge bulk had not as yet been established. Before the hills I was brought forth. He had not yet made the earth, nor the rivers, nor the poles of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When, with a certain law and compass, he enclosed the depths, when he established the sky above and poised the fountains of waters, when he compa compassed the sea within its bounds and set a law to the waters that they should not pass their limits, when he balanced the foundations of the earth, I was with him, forming all things, and was delighted every day, playing before him at all times, playing in the world. For my delight is to be with the children of men. Now, therefore, ye children, hear me, Blessed are they that keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, and that watcheth daily at and waiteth at the posts of my doors. He that shall find me shall find life, and shall have salvation from the Lord. And the Holy Gospel is the beginning of that according to St. Matthew. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and his brethren, and Judas begot Phares and Sarah of Tamar, and Phares begot Ezron, and Ezron begot Aram, and Aram begot Aminidab, and Aminidab begot Nasson, and Nasson begot Salmon, and Salmon begot Booz of Rahab, and Booz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king, and David the king Solomon of her who had been the wife of Urias, and Solomon begot Roboam, and Roboam begot Abia, and Abia begot Asa, and Asa begot Josaphat, and Josaphat begot Joram, and Joram begot Isaias, and Isaias begot Joatham, and Joatham begot Achaz, and Achaz begot Ezekias, and Ezekias begot Manasses, and Manasses begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josias, and Josias begot Yeconias and his brethren in the transmigration of Babylon, and after the transmigration of Babylon, Yeconias. Zalatiel, and Zalatiel begot Zorobabel, and Zorobabel begot Abiud, and Abiud begot Eliakim, and Eliakim begot Azor, and Azor begot Sadok, and Sadok begot Achim, and Achim begot Eliud, and Eliud begot Eliazah, and Eliazah begot Matan, and Matan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. How Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Carice, my beloved in Christ, welcome to this uh, broadcast mass. On this, as we said, Saturday in the octave of the conception of the blood. Mary, day seven of the octave, is also the real Saturday after the second Sunday of Advent. Tomorrow, of course, is Gaudete Sunday, um, a kind of refreshment Sunday in Advent, such as Leitare is in Lent. So tomorrow the candle will be lit and rose-coloured vestments will be worn and paramounts displayed. And that will speak to us of the prospect of Jerusalem. The lesson from Proverbs, as you may recall from earlier in the week, 
speaks to us of wisdom. He's speaking to us of holy wisdom. It's given within the context of masses of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as so often lessons from Proverbs concerning holy wisdom are, because Our Lady, of course, brought forth wisdom into the world by virtue of her conception and of her giving birth to Jesus Christ. But the lesson is essentially speaking to us, of course, about holy wisdom. By extension, of course, then, by Mary, because of her conceit uh, of uh, wisdom, bringing forth wisdom into the world in the personification of Jesus, and then, of course, by extension, us, ourselves, we who were a part, being a mind in the heart of God from all time, from all eternity. Now, this is a constant theme of my reflections, and I'm sorry if you find it tedious, but it is a fundamental principle of the gospel and of our life as Christians. We ask them to understand exactly who we are in relationship with God. The Liber Generationis, or the uh, Book of the Generation of Jesus Christ, uh, that we've been listening to, Speak for, as, for, as the gospel of the conception is also reminding us, uh, putting us into a, an historical context, the significance of Mary and indeed of Jesus. The incarnation is situated within history. Jesus actually was a man and lived among us. He is not just some superhero. He is not just some myth. And so, in these lessons, we are reminded whom Jesus is as holy wisdom. We are reminded how holy wisdom came to be born into our world. And we are citing him historically. We are making the point that he did indeed become one of us. And he did so, of course, so that we might become one with him. He became one of us that we might become one with him. And becoming one with him is the realisation of what God had had in mind for us from all eternity. To be one with him. Again, I know I've said it already this week, but there's often a phrase we hear at this season, love came down at Christmas. And indeed, the manifestation and the personification of God's love is encapsulated within the incarnation and the person of Jesus Christ. But as you will also recall in my reflections this week, we to ourselves are, as it were, personification and manifestation of God's love, because we exist because of God's love. We are born from God's love. We were conceived in God who is love. And the point is, of course, that in the fall of Eve, it was forgotten, that connection, that deep-rootedness of humanity with the Godhead, so that the incarnation necessary in order to remind us and in order to point us uh, in the right way so that we could realize for ourselves that right relationship with God so that we could as it were be reconnected with him. Now the fullness of that realization will not happen until the new heaven and the new earth when this corruptible will be swapped for an incorruptible of perfect harmony of spirit and flesh with God. The gospel allows us, enables us, and facilitates us in life to strive and to aim for and to realize something of that harmony, that oneness with God. So that we may experience something now of what God desires us had desired for us from the beginning and is him.
and the faith and the sacraments of the Church enable us to experience and realise this union with God in the present time. The sacraments being, of course, the chief means by which we are assured of the gift of God's grace. And it is being full of grace, it is collaborating with God's grace and the Holy Spirit that, like the Blessed Virgin Mary, we, too, may become and experience union with God in this life. When the Archangel Gabriel said, Hail thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. This too, my brothers and sisters, is the Church's mission and endeavour and prayer for us, her children. That we too may become full of grace. That we may know that the risen Lord is with us as he makes himself available to us in the sacramental mystery of the Holy Spirit, wherein at the moment of Holy Communion we receive body, blood, soul and divinity, Christ, God made man, love into ourselves and at that moment ourselves become an Ark of the Covenant, a tabernacle of the Most High, a dwelling place of God. The idea being that that communion will then change and transform us and enable us to achieve that perfect end which God desires for each and every one of us. And it is in the receipt of Holy Communion and the sacraments in this life and holding fast to the truth that has been revealed to us Christ, that we experience a glimpse and a foretaste, and indeed a foreknowledge in this life, of what will be at the end, to enable us to persist and to endure, to enable us to be faithful. And this is why the Blessed Virgin Mary is extolled to us as an example of Christian discipleship. Because she remains steadfast and faithful, despite all the hardships that she had to endure. From the moment of her conception of the Christ, from the appearance of the Archangel, the loss of her parents, the journey to Bethlehem, and afterwards the exile to Egypt. The castigation by her own son. These things of which Simeon the prophet foretold, and which we celebrate at the end of Christmas tide on the Feast of Candlemas, and a sword shall pierce thine own heart also. And my favourite line, Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Later again, she would be castigated by her son at Cana in Galilee. Woman, my time is not yet. Later, when she arrives with his cousins, Lord, Master, Rabboni, your mother and brethren are outside, urgent to see you. These are my mother and my brethren, waving his arm to those who are seated around him. And later again, of course, at the foot of the cross, seeing her son die a shameful criminal's death, but he All these things, and much more that we don't know about, of course. All these things Mary endured. And after the crucifixion, after the resurrection, after Pentecost, again Mary was there with the nascent church, in its growing things, suffering and enduring persecution, the ejection from the synagogues, the condemnation by the spiritual authorities of the day. 
persecution by the civil authorities. Our Lady was there comforting the children of God, sharing wisdom, learning, insight, all the fruits and benefits of grace which she was full of. For though we honour Mary and venerate Mary as the first prime example of Christian discipleship, yet subsequent generations have produced saints who in like turn have demonstrated to us how God's grace can enable ordinary people to do extraordinary things. How ordinary people too can be inspired and filled and moved and teach holy wisdom. May themselves be vessels of holy wisdom. May themselves be instruments of holy wisdom. May they themselves become fountains where holy wisdom is poured forth and shared. With that knowledge of the divine love enables salvation enlightens minds and hearts, changes and transforms and converts souls, reminding them of whom they are to God. And as we've said many times this week, each and every one of us is uniquely and individually loved by God. Each and every one of us conceived in his mind from all eternity, purposed <coughs> to exist in the present moment and to fulfill his will, his general desire for all humanity, one with him, to know him, to love him and serve and ultimately to realise the fullness of his desire for us in the perfection of the creation that he had originally The reconciliation and restoration of which is begun in Christ upon the cross and is realised in the resurrection life that will one day be ours with his. We see in these two lections for the Feast of the Conception, neither of which directly, as it were, concerns Mary, seemingly. The Book of Proverbs, of course, as I said, refers to holy wisdom. The Gospel and the genealogy, in fact, is referring to Joseph's genealogy, not Our Lady's. It is referring to what we might call the legal genealogy of Jesus Christ as a son of David, as a successor to King David, through the male line. The genealogy is given in Luke's Gospel and goes all the way back to Adam. And it is through Mary that Jesus receives ultimate legitimacy as a son of man, meaning as a son of Israel, and as a true king. For Mary's line is not the cursed line. That line is Joseph's. Joseph's line is that line which inherits the curse. That despite the infidelity of the kings of Israel, Yet a saviour will be born of a virgin and of David's line. It is Mary, of course, who as a Jewish mother bestows Jewishness, spirituality of the people of God upon Christ. 
so our Lord indeed inherits as it were. Both the legal legitimacy as a male heir through Joseph, but also too the spiritual legitimacy of the not disinherited line of kings of the royal house through Mary. So even though these lections are given to us on this feast of the Blessed Virgin, they are not directly concerned with her, yet indirectly they point to her. The points to her, of course, bringing forth wisdom into the world through the birth of Jesus. And the Gospel indirectly refers to her as bringing the ultimate legitimacy of the inheritance of King David through her genealogy, correcting this disinherited line that is given to us of Joseph. And in many ways this expresses the subtle way, the subtle appreciation the Church for centuries has had concerning the Mother of God. It is only in recent years, particularly, and when I say recent years, I mean in, say, the last 200 years, the people have gone over the top about Mary, we might say. Indeed, they express many truths about Mary. But they are in danger, perhaps, of their Marian devotion distracting them from the ultimate gift of salvation is in her son. As we've said before, notice in traditional iconography, in portraitures and statues of Our Lady, how Our Lady was always depicted with her son. How her gaze or her arms pointed, carried him, guided our gaze to him. It is only, again, in recent years, depictions of Mary on her own have become common and popular. And this reminds us, this ancient iconography and symbolism is forever directing us toward Christ. That despite the wonders of Mary, nonetheless, she too was the child of God. She too owes all that she is to his grace. So too to her submission and acceptance of his will for her. Our Lady, always gazing and pointing toward Jesus, reminds us that all that she has accomplished, she has not done on her own. She has not done by herself. She has achieved through humility, through submission to God's will. And that, my brothers and sisters, is what ultimately Mary teaches us regarding the Christian life. And it's not all about me, myself, and I. It's all about Jesus. None of this is possible without him. All things are made possible with him. We who would strive to follow after her example should ourselves in like manner then 
humble ourselves before God's will, discern, apply, embrace, and commit ourselves to it. For each and every one of us has been purposed. Each and every one of us, though we do not realize it, have already played significant roles in the history of salvation. You do not know all the lives your faith and witness has already touched. You do not know all the ways in which your witness to Christ has moved others. You don't know all the ways in which your fidelity to Jesus has enabled others to see him, to know him, and to want to be with him. Just as Mary, all those centuries ago, would have had no conception, no idea of the veneration and honour that would be given her all these centuries since. But with all humility, she simply strived to fulfil God's will for her life. And in doing so, see what she accomplished. For we owe our faith to hers. We owe our faith, our knowledge of the gospel and of God who is love, to the witness and testimony of all the saints and generations that have gone before us, who, like Mary, submitted to the will of God made known his love to the world and enabled the God and the apostolic faith to prevail and to preserve. And if we would play our part in the salvation of the world, we have only to follow after their example, to preserve and to pass on that which we in our turn receive, and to apply ourselves daily to fulfilling God's will, that we may bring our, not just ourselves, but others to the fullness of redemption in Him, by availing ourselves of all the means of grace and heavenly assistance afforded us. by him who is God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Credo in uno Deum, Patre omnipotente, Conceli et Tere, Vise Filium omnium et invisibilium, Et in uno Domino, Iesum Christum Filium Deum Unigenitum, Et ex patrinant manti omnia secula, Deum de Deum, Lumen de Lumine, Dem Verum de Deum Vero, Genito non facum consustantiale in Patri, Petra omnia facto sum, Qui prote nos homines, prote nos un salutem, de sceni de cegis, et di cadatus Spiritus Santo ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus est, et pro nomis sepulcio prelatu patus putus est, et resurrexi tersi de esse cunus scripturas, et de sceni de cielus sed de dextra patris, et iterum et juris est con gloria unitari vivus et mortuos, cui vos reni non erit finis. Et in Spiritum Sanctum Dominum et Vivificatem, qui ex Patri procedi, qui con Patri et Filio semolatore tuor cum glorificatur, qui lo putus es per profetas, et unam Sanctam Catonicam et Apostolicam Ecclesiam, 
Found fitting a wound of baptism and remission in the Catorum, and expect a remission in Mogorum, and vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus Oviscum, et con spirito tuo. Orde. Beate res virpa Maria, que omnio potasti per torrem, genuisti que te feci, te tine eternum, amen es virpa. Secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus suaviscum, et cum spirito tuo, sus un corda, habe un sanct dominum, gracias a gamus domino del nostro. Ieu me justum es, e veredigno me justum es, e come salutare, nos ti vi sempre e dubi, quae gracias agere, domine sancte pate, omnipotenza e tene Deus. Et te in concepcione, beate Maria, sebe veginis calodare, benedicere et predicare. Quae et unigenitum tuum sancti spiritus un combrazione concepit, et virginitatis gloria permanente lumen eternum mundo effudit, 
Er ist ein Christ und auch wieder nach tun. Weil, wenn man es da schon drum laut und einschlägt, hat er andere Nationen, ist Raymond für das Staat, der ist Jerry, Jerry, und wird wohl die Leviate Seraphim. So, die Situationen kommen Jerry, Mann. Und wie unser Nachschuss war, ist unser Mitte best, der Prekamur. So viel Chi confessi, ja, nicht die Jerry, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus.
Ya sekula sekulorum. Amen. Orde preceti salutari bus mama ki de venus luciana comati. Ade bus dice. Ade nos te qui si cieli sangue cielo non utum. Veni ad regnum tuum fine volontas tua. Si vod in cielo et in terra. Signo nostri minimus de vidolibus nostris, e ne nos inducas in tentazione. Sed libera nostra mano. Erro mia secula seculorum. Amen. Ex a Domini sit semper a vobiscum, et cum spirito tuo. Agnus Dei, qui tale spettato mundi, misedede nomis. Agnus Dei, qui tale spettato mundi, misedede nomis. Agnus Dei, qui tale spettato mundi, non a nomis pari. Ece agnus Dei, ece qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine, non sunimus, sut in re, sut ecum meum, sent angus dic verbo, e sent habitur anima mea. Domine, non sunimus, sut in re, sut ecum meum, sent angus dic verbo, e sent habitur anima mea. Domine, non sunimus, sut in re, sut ecum meum, sent angus dic verbo, e sent habitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though Thou wert already there, I embrace Thee and unite myself wholly to Thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
da grande viscera marli e vicini spevota vero dei carni patri a figli. Dominus obiscum et cum spirito tuo orrebus. Sum simus tobe celebratis annue votive sacramenta, presta caesimus ut temporalis vitae nobis remedio prebeante ed eterne. Per Dominum nostrum Iesu Christu Filio tu, qui te conviuta regna ad un'eretà di Spiritu Sancti Deus. Per ogni secula seculorum. Amen. Orrebus. Refleti cibo spiritualis alemoni e supplicis te domine, febrecamur, ut huius participazioni misteri e doci as nos terre e nel esficere e da mare celestia. Santi Spiritus Domine, ricorda nostra munde d'infusio e sui lori sintima espressioni fecunde, per Domino nostro, mia e su Cristo, un figlio in tu, che te conviva da te, e da te, iusum Spiritus Sancti Deus, per ogni secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ite misa est, Deo gratias. Sin nome Domini benedictum, et son lungo dusco in secula, auditorium nostro in nome dei Domini, qui fece celem et temam, Benedicat vos, Omnipotens Deus. Pate, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Nominus Fabiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, inizium Sancti Evangelii secondo mio Padre. Gloria a Ti, Vigami. In principio, nel verbo, e verbo, e retabo Deo, e Deus, e retabo, ma Alcherati in principio, a cui demo, di Cristo fatto, e sorte, simso fatto, e sdiego fatto in est. In ipso vita erati, vita erati, lux omni, per lux in tenebris, luce in tenebris, e non comprehenderum. Fuit homo visto sedere, cui nomino raci vates. Hic verit in testimonium, un testimonium, per bevere di lumine, et omnes credum qui ilum. Non eret ili lux, e no testimonium, bevere di lumine, e le lux vere, qua lumina, et omnem, omnem, venientem, e hul mundo. Per mundo erati, mundo spremso fatto, se estimulo se noto mi ovi. In propria verità sono non ceperon, corpo non temo ceperon, deum desvo le stati, un filo stai fieri, ti scrivi prendi in nome eus, cui non è sanguinibus, nex volontate calis, nex volontate viri, se l'exderno anti sunt. Et verbum carro factum eis, et abitavit in nomi se vinimus gloria, meus gloria, quasi non genetia pati, plan grazia e veritatis. Deo grazia. Blessed Lord is with thee, blessed of our among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed of our among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed of our among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, for thy children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, through daily mercy on, on thy people who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, and spouse of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and all thy saints, in mercy will we hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, 
have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. May St. Catherine of Stenning pray for us, and Wilfred of York pray for us, and Richard of Chichester pray for us, and Rowena of Alfriston pray for us, Our Lady of Walsingham pray for us, Our Holy Guardian Angels pray for us, Our Heavenly Patron Saints pray for us, Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints pray for us.